Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble our first little bottle here. We're gonna start with the base and we're gonna go ahead and just fold all these pieces to kind of form our little box bottle. And this week, I'm actually using this tiny little glue bottle. So I took my Scotch Quick Dry and I filled this up. Uh, this precision tip really, really keeps things nice and clean and accurate. Um, the glue comes out beautifully and I just have so much more control. It makes me kind of look like I know what I'm doing. Um, so we're just gonna glue the one side to the tab and I'm just doing this flat just to make sure that I've got a nice accurate contact here and as you can see I don't have glue shooting out everywhere so I'm pretty impressed with myself here now you can do this in any order you want now what I'm doing is I'm just taking this little uh, accent piece here and I'm just lining it up at the bottom here just to kind of give me an idea on where I want to position these little panel pieces. Okay, so you do want to get these glued down like so. Okay, try to make sure that you get them nice and even all the way around. So that's where these pieces are going to go. Okay, now this piece obviously you don't want to glue that down just yet. We need to do that when it's completely formed, but that is where those panel pieces go. So we can put that aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this thing over and just close this up. Try to get it nice and formed and even. Okay. And now there's two ways you can try to do this. There is a liner piece that goes inside. Okay. And then there's also the bottom. Um, if you want, you can put the liner piece in first to help it form. Um, since it's so deep, that may be a little bit difficult. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the bottom on first and then throw the liner in afterwards. Okay, now I've got a, this new handy dandy glue bottle that really lets me get my glue out to the edges for a nice hold. Okay, so we're just gonna put the bottom right on there. We're going to do our best to make sure that everything is nice and lined up. So now I just want to squeeze some glue onto the tabs inside and just all in the middle too. Do your best. And we just drop that little liner piece right inside. It is kind of a deep bottle. So it was a little difficult. You may want to grab a pen or a pencil just to help you get that in there. And just push it down. And there is the base. Okay. Now again, yours is already going to have the panels on it, which I showed you. And what we're going to do then is we're going to take this gold piece now you don't have to don't have to use gold. You can use whatever color you'd like. And we're just gonna bend it at the score marks. And this is going to get glued to the bottom. I'm just gonna glue that right into place all the way around. Just like so. Okay, so that's where that goes. I'm gonna leave that off for now. And we can go ahead and begin putting together the top. Now, um, the top consists of these pieces here. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do is we're just going to begin bending these over. Okay, and these tabs, you may as well just get those kind of going in the right direction. And the idea is to 
you're, it's gonna look sort of like this. If you look at the actual photo, you can see that you've got this flat area, then it kind of curves in, and then it goes vertical, and then it kind of comes out, and then this tab here is gonna be for our lid. So all we want to do is join these pieces together, and as you start joining them together, they'll start to form the shape pretty, pretty much naturally, I guess. They'll just kind of fall into shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin applying my glue on these tabs. Make sure that this, actually make sure that this bottom one gets a good hold first. We may need to reapply the glue here. Okay. So that's got a pretty good hold. I'm gonna to go to the second tab now and glue that to its neighbor. Again, that one's gonna be pretty much vertical. There's no angle on it. Despite my fine precision glue bottle, I'm still kind of making a mess here and I apologize for that. But it'll, it'll dry clear and it'll be okay. And then finally, this last piece, I'm just gonna throw a little extra glue on here. And again, that's gonna come out. Your main goal is just to make sure that the angles, the corners of the edges, just line up nice and flush. The rest of it will just fall into place. All right, and now we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, let's start with this tab here glue out to the edge. Give me a real good. And let's bend that. Just like that. Just want to make sure that those lines are nice and lined up. And just hold until you get a nice firm grip. And now I'm going to grab this tab here. Do the same thing. Just glue him to his neighbor. And just make sure you just get it right on there and just hold it until it dries. And finally, the last tab here. Just get some glue on that and glue him to his neighbor. Get your pointer finger on your left hand and your thumb to kind of create that pressure and just hold it. Just make sure that those lines are nice and lined up and you got the angles just right. Okay, so you're, you're gonna repeat that process all the way around. So I'm getting pretty close to the end here and the pieces are kind of starting to overlap a little bit. That's totally normal. Um, that last segment that we're going to join together, um, there's going to be a little bit of resistance and tension as we kind of spread this piece apart a little bit more, but that's all, it's all part of the process. Okay. So I've got uh, one more little tab here to glue down. For the top. So I'm going to get that into place. And again, just make sure that you've got the angles right. Okay. And it does help to kind of crease these as you go, just to kind of help it take on its proper form. Okay. So last but not least, we're just going to take these tabs here and just get these glued into place, and then this thing will have its shape, which is what we're after. So I'm gonna go ahead and place some glue on the largest tab here, and just connect these two. Make sure it's nice and lined up. And again, there's gonna be a little bit of tension, so make sure that you just push and hold this firmly in place until you get, get it to dry. You really need to channel your inner Zen when it comes to doing this stuff. And this is really where that precision tip helps so much because you can really get in there on this tab here. 
And I'm just going to put glue on all these tabs since I have very little room to work with at this point. I'm going to get my finger in there, finger through the bottom, and just do my best to get all these touching. Actually, I'm probably just going to do these first two here and hold those in place. They get a nice solid hold. And just kind of scooch it around a little bit until you're sure you've got it. And then finally, we'll close it up here at the top with one final dab of glue. Close that top piece up. Okay, so there is, well, there's your piece there. And then go ahead and fold these tabs over. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on these tabs here. And then take this piece and just glue it to the top there. And just push and hold it until it gets a really solid grip. I'm actually applying quite a bit of force on here, and this the structure is pretty dang strong. So just make sure that gets a good grip. And then we do have a little liner piece or a panel piece that I'm going to apply glue to. And just pop it right on top there. There's one more little topper piece that goes on top of that even. Um, but I suppose you could, you could make this without having to put that top top piece on there. I think it'll still look really cute. Um, but at this point, that should fit on there perfectly, and it does. And really what's left is taking this piece here and just wrapping it around and getting that glued into place. Okay, and that's gonna be sort of centered on the neck. Okay, so that's where that goes. And then we have these panels. Now in our, in our version, we actually ink them a little bit and distress them just to kind of make them look cool. Um, and you can do that if you want, but these are gonna get glued like so. Just wanna apply glue to the entire thing and glue these down all the way around. Okay, so that's those pieces. And then we have these tiny little panel pieces here that are gonna get glued like so. Okay, so there's also six of those. And um, there's a decorative element <clears throat> that we have actually just on a, a nice little orange elastic string. Um, it's this piece here. You're gonna glue this right on top. Okay, then we have this little charm or a little pendant thing. There's this layer and then this layer. You could pop dot that or glue it right on there and then again, tie it around the neck of the bottle. And then finally, what we have is uh, this little topper here. Now we actually did this using a gold foil. Um, don't have to do that. You can use whatever you want. I find that the gold foil is just a, a bit harder to work with, but it does really bling it up if you are so inclined to be patient and wait for this to dry a little bit longer. Now, one tip that our creative director, Ron, gave me on using the gold foil is, uh, you know, because it is kind of shiny and it doesn't really have this, the teeth necessary to um, grip as quickly as other glues, if you take an X-Acto knife and just cut little lines into it to kind of sever or, or just cut open the foil that will help with the glue sticking a little bit quicker, okay? But this guy is pretty simple. You just kind of bend them like that and apply glue to this tab here. And close him up. And just get your finger in there and hold it until it dries. Again, with the foil, it does take a little bit longer. Actually, probably about three or four times as long 
um, for it to really get a grip. And then literally there's these tiny little tabs at the bottom. You just fold those over. Again, uh, this gold foil stuff is, um, <clears throat> it's a lot thicker than your standard cardstock. So it's, uh, you know, it takes a little bit more to bend and fold everything into place. But like I said, it does really add a nice touch. So there's that piece there. And then you've got a bottom, okay, that gets glued on like so. So you're just gonna glue that on. Then you're gonna glue the top of it on, okay? And once you've got that glued on, you can take some glue and glue it right on to the top there to finish it off. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.